Excuse me, Mr. Archmage, sir. I think it's pertinent that you're made aware that one of the teachers in your employ tried to touch my bum. So he did. And he's currently in the process of trying to steal my ball. What kind of est- <laughs> what kind of establishment are you running here? I see. I trust that Tolfdier will provide a more specific explanation. No, no, no. Tolfdier's the bloody problem. Time. Speak with Urag in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. You're having a laugh. I reported sexual harassment to you and you gave me homework. And a bribe to shut me up some hush money. Ah, you can't even have fun with it. This thing's crap, by the way. This thing's absolutely rubbish. I'll show you a real weapon. There you go, that's a real weapon. That's a real weapon. Oh, whoa, whoa, right, okay. Hey. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you were about to get battered, sir. You don't know how close you came. Hello. I just wanted to let you know that Ancano's been asking about you. Who's Ancano? It's not that guy, is it? I'm not sure. Just, well, mind what you tell him, all right? Don't you worry about me, Frolda. Loose lips sink ships. What does a captain hate? A sunken ship. You don't have to worry about a thing, pet. Is he the only one that's asking after me? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you... I guess I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to him then. Between the two of us, there are rumours about him. What he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor. Oh yeah, because he's a filthy Altmer. Uh, <clears throat> Whether it's true, yeah, fence I begin. Hi. See you around, handsome. Oh my! She's well up for it! Anyway, <clears throat> aye, you. Uh, <laughs> that's him learning those teleportation spells. So, as Ancano, don't you walk away from me when I'm about to start to talk to you. Aye, this is not so bad, actually. I'll be on the big step. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. He said he wanted to speak to me, and then I come to speak to him. He's like, I don't want to speak to you. Yeah. That's what you get, you dirty rotten spy. What? Preposterous. I would suggest you don't growl at me like that. Or a... <laughs> or I'll playfully tickle your chin. Wait till all your wee thalmer buddies see how soft you've got. No, tickle, 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 tickle. Desargo has seen that Tofdir likes you. You must be very scared. Tofdir likes me a little bit too much, and uh, Shit, I nearly called you in and go. I cannot do it alone. Desargo has worked hard on learning new spells. Desargo works so hard that it's not time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Desargo. Students aren't supposed to give other students homework. What is it with everybody giving me homework? I have things to do. I'm supposed to be getting an Elder Scroll, actually. Jezargo has designed you to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead and should burn them to a crisp in no time. There Gisargo might be a slight problem with your plan here, Jezargo. Flame cloak, okay. It's supposed to protect us against undead. And incinerate the undead. I bet you a single gold coin this goes horribly wrong. Sorry, they're on fire. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everybody's on fire. Ah, they're, they're on fire and they're stuck to me. They're on fire and they're stuck to me. It's okay. It's okay. Now they're in, now. The architecture saved me. I am concerned that there's a critical flaw in his scrolls, and it's that they're terrible. Okay. I wanted to set fire to everything, I just shoot fireballs everywhere. However, with that said, a Khajiit mage that can't control his own destructive energy does sound like somebody who would get along swimmingly with the laughing crew. So assuming his intent wasn't to kill the captain with his scrolls that do horrendous damage to the undead, eh, I am going to go and I'll give him a wee test, alright? Uh, okay, I don't know where everybody is. Okay, I guess I'm going myself. No wonder that, oh he's going to use those scrolls again, man, I'm off skis, not a chance. I am going to use them again, on the undead. Where's the easiest place to find undead? Other than myself, obviously. In the crypt. And Winterhold does have a crypt somewhere. It, ha it has a crypt somewhere, I'm sure. Am I making this up? Is that a mod, are you? <laughs> Where is it? Am I talking pish? I might be lying. I might be lying. Um, Winterhold might not have a crypt. I thought, I, I could have sworn there was a crypt under here. No, I think that was a mod. What's a mod? No idea, mate. Excuse me, officer, you wouldn't know whether there was any undead skeletons that aren't me. Obviously, don't get cheeky about this. Um, I've got 
very important science magic stuff to do for a friend who's created very destructive, uncontrollable, dangerous to the general public sort of scrolls and magic and stuff, and I would like to use it, preferably out the way from the general public. Oh, that's not bad, is it? But I mean, you know, can't make an omelette without cracking a few eggs, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, mate? No, yeah. no, no, where's, where's, the, where's the bloody zombies and stuff? Where am I supposed to find an undead out here in this bloody frozen wasteland? Unfortunately, you don't count, you're just regular dead. No, I need, I need, I need a little bit more advanced than that, I'm afraid. Although, he does have a wee bit of treasure. He has about the same amount of treasures that whole last dungeon we were in. What a lad. Hey, you can always trust a skeleton to have some good loot on him. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Aye, on no you go. Give me your talk. stuff. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Oh, that was the wrong thing to say. Victory's yours, I submit. <laughs> Bad idea. I got him for you, Paul. I've got his thing. I don't know what he gave me. He gave me an elven shield of flame suppression, which I might need in the very near future, so I'm going to keep a hold of that, sir. You have a nice day now. You haven't seen any any undead skeletons or drogger or anything kicking about, have you? You know, a lich, like a, a walking, you know, a, a dead goat. You know, an alive dead goat, obviously not a regular dead goat. No, nope, excuse me, excuse nope, don't you, don't you dare. You look like the sort of man that either knows some undead, local undead, or can conjure up some local undead. So, um, give me some information there, chief. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura. Fine then. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Nobody wants to help the captain. This wasn't the plan for this adventure. I don't, I don't know how I got... How did I get roped into this? Oh, I'm not scared of Elder Scroll. That's supposed to be the Dragonborn getting an Elder Scroll and I'm just, now I'm just a skeleton looking for more skeletons so I can kill some skeletons with a scroll that might kill me. Skeleton! Would you like to take part in my experimentation? Ah, ah, ah! Don't worry, it's as bad as it looks. Damn it, one of them killed him before I could. Ah, ah, ah! You're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead either. I need more dead things. Ah, sorry. I have to do this to you, pal. Ow. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Sorry to do this to you, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Gisargo. You owe me an apology, Gisargo. No, no, no. Gisargo. This was Gisargo. This, this is Gisargo. Oh, this is... Why is there a... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What have I put? What have I put? Was all the way. Ah, I'm exploding! No, I'm just being shot at. No, what's going on? No, Gisargo, why did you do that? Gisargo's dead, why is Gisargo dead? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 that's good, it went better. You owe me an apology, Gisargo. Mate, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were trying to off me. Those scrolls are a bloody well nightmare. I'd... <laughs> In an alternate timeline, it's absolute chaos out here. Oh. Cesargo takes this to mean it did not go well. Still, you are a good friend to Cesargo now for taking this risk. Cesargo thanks you. Oh my god, man. This, this is supposed to be the best years of our lives. So it is. Student life. I hate it so far. I've just been groped and I've had my big ball stolen. And I got set on fire by my new pal. Some, some bloody friend he is. And I don't have a drink. Why don't I have a drink? I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, that's what Gisargo said. Nothing dangerous. Nothing dangerous. It'll be fine. Nothing dangerous. Here's just a scroll that explodes on undead. Mr. Skeleton, nothing dangerous. This could be funny. Right, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what this does. What's in it for me? Well, I... I simply thought you might wish to help out one of your fellow mages. If that's not enough, I suppose... I have this amulet you could take. There we go, treasure. See, now she's talking the captain's language. All right. Oh, good. Lay it on, mate. Can't be worse than getting exploded by a fire scroll, no, can it? You just stand there. Easy peasy. Please just stand in there. No bother. Move. All right. There. Now I. Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Everything's green. Do you. Do you feel all right? You look very. Um. Green. Green. Well, I'll have you know, everything looks very green. I went over this again and again, and uh, I'm sure it would have better results. That's adorable. Um, ch change me back. This better not. This better not be permanent, and I'll give you a permanent hole right in between your eyes. It's not. It shouldn't be. You'll be back to normal in no time. When's no when time? You are. We can try this again, and I'll be sure to get it right. No. No. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm green. Everything's green, and I don't have an amulet. The deal was do the thing, get the amulet. Everything's green, and I don't have an amulet. I bloody hate students, mate. No, wait. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I'm green. 
Um, Mira, you're into all this bad juju stuff. How long is this going to last? The Keith, is you're basically green. How long is this going to last? Archmage, I would like to put in my second complaint of the day. I mean, really, I should have complained about Jazargo, but it's it's fine. I, I feel like I'm going to get more out of that bargain eventually than he did. Uh, I'm green now. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Oh, hey, 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 bit of undead banter there. I like it, I like it. And um, what I don't like is being green. I guess I, I guess I go and stay asleep this off. The captain doesn't need to sleep, but he, he also needs to not be seen green. The captain's going to do something he never does. Rest his weary head. A well-earned rest, I might add. Right, which one of these was mine? Oh, aye. Oh, aye. You've got some explaining to do. So you have. I, I can't remember which one of these is mine. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to sleep in this one. Eh... Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's basically sleeping, right? If this isn't fixed by the morning, that wee lassie's getting it. Ooh. Oh, hey, everything's back to normal. She gets to live another day, lucky her. Uh, how, do, how do I get out? Oh, it's okay, it's been so long since the captain slept, he forgot how to get out of bed, but it's fine, he figured it out, he's smart, right? You, you with the book, put that away. You, I put, put. Or do that. Mages, eh? Can he trust them? You owe me an amulet. I still need some help. If you can spare the time. Uh, that wasn't the agreement. Help the spell. I did the spell. You Not my fault. It was crap and it didn't work. If it doesn't work this time, I swear to God. Brillinia. Brillinia. Brill. 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 Brill pad. I'm getting your amulet and you're getting stabbed. Okay, now don't move at all. Uh. Oh my. That isn't right. Just wait. Just... I can fix this. You... you conjured a Highland cow. I l listen, I like cows. Oh no, that's not it at all. And a horse. Let me try again. And the horse is arse is right in my face. I suspect I'm supposed to be the horse. Really but the and unfortunately it was even worse than that. And there's a dog. I do like dogs. I swear. I don't know where you went. There. All better. Yeah. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? I can add... Horse's arse in my face to the list of atrocities I've suffered at this college. Agreed. You're a good friend. Aye, well, a good friend wants his treasure. A necklace of waning magic? Tell you what, it's worth a fair wee bob. Considering all I had to do was see green for a while, go to sleep for a little bit, and then get a horse's arse stuffed in my face. Um, actually, when I put it like that, that wasn't worth 600 gold pieces that your amulet's going to fetch me eventually. You know what, Brillo Pad? Now we're even. Oh, look, a famous Skyrim purple quill. Eh, can he beat it? I believe I have to speak to you. Two things. Number one, I need to know about, about an Elder Scroll. He obviously isn't going to speak to me about the Elder Scroll until I deal with all this giant glowing orb nonsense. And the giant glowing orb is mine, by the way. That other guy, Toftier, he's Watch just you're doing. he's just looking after it for me. And if, and if he touches it, Lydia, who I've not forgot about, by the way, Lydia's guarding it and I didn't forget. She's going to stab him. Aye, the big ball of treasure. The ball Here, I didn't even think. What if there's stuff inside that ball? No matter how much treasure could be in there, it's definitely mine. Um, know anything about it? No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. What's the point? I hate this place. You must I have something. not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. What an incredible coincidence. The very book I needed is the very book some mad rando went and stole. Go to the college, get the info about the Elder Scroll and leave. That's what it was supposed to be, but no. Go ask the guy about the books, about the giant ball. I do want the ball, right? The ball looks like a cracking bit of treasure. You there. I have <sighs> questions for you. I swear to God, mate. You were in Sarthal, yes? Yes. It has come to my attention that something was found there. Maybe I found something, maybe I didn't. And if I found it, it means it's mine, dickhead. So now what? Now we have to go to Felglow Keep to get a guy who has books that... The Archmage needs or something before he's going to relinquish that ball to me. I think, I think, I think that's the deal we made, Sven. You seem to be the only one that cares. Um, why is there a giant dead dragon over there? <laughs> what if I missed? It's fine, who cares, it happens. Now, where in the blue balls is Felglow Keep? No, we're not at Felglow Keep yet. Why are we fighting the mammoth? Why are we fighting the giants? Oh my god. Sorry, big guy. I can't even have you killing a neck. I'm already one woman done. This would be an absolute sausage fest without an egg. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> parry the giant, mate! I'm the strongest, I'm the strongest that there is! Ow! Uh, you just parried, get parried, you big idiot. 
Oh, right in the gooch. Right in this giant gooch. Okay, okay, now we've upset the big game. Can we leave the big game alone? Wait, watch, watch. Hold on. No, <laughs> he's gonna fall over and die. Oh, just as I use Kate's piece. You don't have to worry. Big game, it's fine. I'm seeing green again. I wonder if that's what that did. I wonder if it was a nice calming spell. Ah, uh, you look like shit, Sven. Well, that was all for nothing. We're nowhere near Felglow. Fel Fel Felglow? Well, oh, I thought that was I thought that was an undead mammoth. That'd have been rad. Right, well, waste not, want not. These big bastards usually have some sort of treasure somewhere. A glowing beacon mirror actually showing me exactly where it is. No, 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 no. I thought we already had Meridia's beacon. <laughs> what if I just don't take it? It is treasure though, isn't it? A new hand touches the beacon. I think I've got a pair Listen, of beacons now. Hear me Wee. Meridia's beacons. <laughs> Merid Meridia's beacons. Do you get it? Do you get it, Sven? Anyway, we're not doing that. So, <laughs> where is this bloody keep? Can I assume this is Felglow Keep? Why won't you die? Which one of you dickheads took our books? Oh, hiding behind. Ow. Hiding behind the stairs, eh? Not, not a bad shout from you. You're a smart one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, not my best moment. There's just an astronaut down there. Huh? Well, there was. It exploded. No, no, no. no. How may I help you? Uh, you can, you can help me remember how to pick up a bloody coin purse. Ah, ah. <laughs> Captain still got it. Yeah, uh, he can't. He can't. There. We got there eventually, Durkeith. It's you and me, buddy. Bugger off, spiders. The arcade. <laughs> Are you, eh? Oh, he blocked my shot with a stupid little ditty ward. He is a master of the arcane. I mean, he was until I broke every bone in his body. I should be careful with that shout, actually, in case I shoot the book somewhere that we can't get it. Someone there? <laughs> you <Yeah>, fanny. <laughs> Sven, that's coming right out of your mouth. I'm Sven. I'm Sven. I'm supposed to be naked all the time. And when I think nobody's looking, I have a wee Tommy tug in the river that everybody saw me do it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Sven, how? How? Hello, do any of you, you're all vampire thralls or just vampires? Are they capturing vampires or are you vampire thralls? Um, I'm not sure. I don't really think I want to let them out, you see. I'll open that one. Oh, are you just going to go and... K k am I just freeing vampires out into the world? Sweet! Me and the vampires! Me and the vampires and the undead man! Brilliant! <laughs> Whoa! Why does her head just pop off? <laughs> Why does her head just pop off? What's going on? What if I let the wolves out? I take it you're who I'm looking for. I won't hold back! As he says, running backwards. I haven't even been looking for these books, Ducky, as I'll be honest. I've been too engrossed in the chaos, right? Well, I set him on fire. Hopefully it doesn't kill the other guy. What the hell? Mirak, we agreed not to use unrelenting force, right? We'd, we'd, we agreed not to use unrelenting force in case we blew the book away. Who knows what they'd have done to me if you hadn't come along? Turns into a vampire, maybe. I don't really know what they're doing here. You owe me a life debt, sir. And you happen to have three books that are mine or that I need or whatever, so please give me the books. The... the books? Yes. Oh, I see. I, I thought perhaps... well, I thought you'd come for me. No, but I wasn't even sure you were here. And to be honest, I preferred the vampires. They were insane. They were mental. They were great. We should have some vampires on the team. Aye, bugger off. Get us out of safety. There might be three rampaging vampires you need to fight your way through, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, sorry, skeleton pal. It's <laughs> just a massacre. You don't have to know where my books are, do you? Oh, that's going to explode. I did. Tell you. And yeah, I know your nails, but you should at least turn around and kill the people that are shooting at you. Yeah. <laughs> you mages are hopeless. I doubt that's the last off of my neck. Oh my god, I'm sitting here gallivanting and having a good time. And you're taking an absolute pounding hen. 
died as he lived. On the floor like a dog. Right, that was that was excessive. Right, where, where, where are these bloody well books? So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. Yes, How I did. Nice to meet you. I'm taking that book. <laughs> Sven picked that book up. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. No. That's disappointing. You show. Oh. I don't think I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Take that. I don't know if we're supposed to be killing you, but we're going to do it anyway. Ah, ah, missed her. Missed her again. I keep missing her. All part of the diversion, obviously. <laughs> They're easy peasy. All part of the plan, Mirak. I zoom around, pew pew pew, she teleports, pew pew pew, and you, the rest of you do all the work, obviously, right? I had a book and then I flicked it somewhere. Where is it? Is this one of the books? A book number one. A book number two. And a book number three. And we're good to go. You know, I wonder if that may- Whoa, what was that? Oh, there's a dead chicken! Why is there a dead chicken? See, those bloody- Those bloody, dirty, cultist rotters. Deserved everything they got, so they did. Poor chicken. Alright, pal. Quite the evening, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder if that mage made it back. <laughs> I wonder what happened to those vampires. Anyway, I've got these stinky books- Ow! Tolf, dear you filthy rotter! That's supposed to be mine! No! That's enough. Back to bed, please. <laughs> you all get sent to your bed. Serves you right. You as well, Toff, dear, you dirty rotter. You touched my bum and then you stole my ball. That's pish for him. I want to put in another complaint. Also, we need to go back and get Lydia. <laughs> oh, Lydia! I didn't see you there. Hey, well done. Well done for making it back. Um, unfortunately, though, when I said you to watch him in the bot. Okay, right. Watch him, number one, you're not watching him, right? Because there's a giant pillar in the way. Also, I mean, man, I said if he was trying to move that you to stop him and stab him. You didn't stab him, Lydia. You only did half the job. Nobody likes a half a job. How did he even get that over here? That's pish for him. There's absolutely no way he could have got that giant ball over here. Anyway, I have to tell some silly old orc about some blooming books or something. I don't even know what I have to do now. I'm supposed to be giving him books. I'm supposed to be giving him the stupid books. I got his books and he isn't here. I got the ball and it's down there and it's supposed to be on the ship. That's where it should go. Imagine a ship sailing through the ocean with a giant glowing ball. That would draw attention, actually. That's a terrible idea. Hmm. We need a hideout. That's something. We need a hideout. I also need to find this old guy. Where's the old orc? Oh, yeah, he got sent to his bed for being a bad boy. <laughs> We've all been there. Shh, I'm going to read him a wee bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a lovely magnanimous captain, your captain, Captain Fanny Bones. Right, and, and he wanted to just save everybody and get a big glowing orb as his reward. That's all he wanted and, and, and the information of an Elder Scroll. And he, he, he went and he asked the people of the College of Winterhold and they were big mini pants. Yes, they were. They were big mini pants who set him on fire, touched his bum, <laughs> turned him green, put a horse's arse in his face and made him made him go and run errands like go and get three books who gives a shit about three books i don't need three books to know where the orb is i already found the giant orb and there was big smelly high elf he was there as well i hate that guy and then after he did all that the rotter stole the orb from him and then just went to bed and then he stabbed all of them what are you doing the end <laughs> Yes, you are being attacked because you're stinky and I hate you. Anyway, that's what you get. I've got your three books for you, sir. <laughs> and now he's dead. Don't say the captain never cleans up his own mess. Right, just sweep him under under the under the bed or under the chair. Nobody will ever know. Right. Nobody will ever know.